guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be looking at how to do a timed announcer bot, which say every few minutes or every few seconds, however you like it, um, it um, says a message, for example. Um, so it'll say a message in the chat every so often. So first thing we want to do is we want to have our MIRC open and we want to have our chatbot connected. I showed you how to do this in a previous video. So our chatbot is connected to our channel. Um, I'll just open up my Twitch chat as well actually. So I've connected it to my Cron TV channel and I'm just going to go to my chat and then pop this out. So let's see it like so. So we'll just double check to make sure it's connected properly. So hello. And you can see it's in there. We haven't got our opposite yet just yet. Um, but it should figure out that we're up in one moment. Um, so, the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to our MSL dev, and I showed you how to use this as well in the previous video. Uh, we have commands, point script, and bars in here. You don't have point scripts as of yet though, so just ignore that part. You just have commands, because I did do my point scripts off camera, but I will be doing that in a future video. So. Basically, first thing you want to do is actually make a new INI file. So we're going to go into MIRC. There we go, it's just welcoming me in. It. Welcome, welcome it. Oh, I can't even speak. Welcoming me into the channel. So we're going to go to remote on the scripts editor. And we're going to go file, new. And we're going to type hello into here. And just go file, save as. And we're going to call this timed announce oh we'll just call it announcer and click ok go out of here and then go back to msl dev and we should have the announcer here so now that we've got an announcer ini file anything that we do put in here don't forget and we save it will appear inside here like so so this means that we can write our code very, very simply in here and make sure all of our syntax is correct. So the first thing that we want to do is make a command which starts the announcer. So we want to be able to start and stop this announcer when we wish. Um, you can make it so it just starts when you when you start the script or whatever, but I prefer mine so I start it up manually. So every time you stream you'll have to start it up manually. So first thing you want to do like I say, is make an on command. So we want to do an on text command. So on asterisk colon text colon. I want to do this one's going to be called start announcer. Then do colon hashtag colon. And that's going to say that basically on the text event start announcer in any channel that the bot's connected to, it will do this. So we're going to have an if statement, if dollar sign nick is up, this basically means that the command will only work if that username who's input in the command is a mod in the chat, we want it to send a message. And we want the message to be message in the channel, and we want it to say announcer is now starting, like so. And then on the line after this, we can make a timer. So to make a timer, what we're going to do is we're going to put a full stop and we're going to do full stop timer. And then we need to name our timer and we're going to call this timer announcer. Like so. And then, in fact, it's probably hard to see for you guys. Until I'm already having hard, hard times reading it. On options. Here we go. Highlight current line. We don't want to end this color, I don't think. Oh, I don't know. It should be okay to read. So we're going to make the timer announcer and we're going to do this zero. So you want zero at the start. So we want it to start straight away and then we want it to finish. 30 seconds so it's going to time 30 seconds and it'll put this command in every 30 seconds or we could have it 60 seconds or we could have it 2 minutes which is 120 3 minutes 180 and so on so we're going to have it every 
every 30 seconds. And then we're going to do, we could have a message. Or in this instance, I'm going to actually do a play. Now, play is used to read a text document and play it in the channel. So what we're going to do is we're going to do dot play hashtag. So it's going to play in the channel. And then we're going to write our file directory directory for this text document. Now, I'll do that in one moment. But first of all, I want to explain that you can do dot message here and just have it as a message um, if you wish. So it's not like it has to be in a play file. I'm just trying to get different ways of doing this for you guys. So we're going to go to desktop. We're going to create a new folder and we're going to call this uh, what should we call it mirc text files it's going to be where we hold all of our text files so we're going to go file new inside this folder we go text document and we're going to call this announcer now don't forget this timer announcer is only going to work for this one this one text document. Um, don't try to use different time, multiple timers for different text documents. I mean you can, but it's just going to make your chat get spammed like crazy. So I recommend using different timers for different instances. If that makes sense. Um, so then we want to go back to here. Open up our announcer our text document and we can write whatever we want to appear on the stream. So I'm going to have mine say links and I want it to go, I want it to say my YouTube channel. Wait, we can just do it like that. I, think. I want it to say a Twitter and that'll do. So we can save that, control S, that's saved in there. And then we can get the file directory for that. So we're going to go desktop, we're going to go Twitch chat, not Twitch chat, but uh, where is it? MRC text files. Get the directory for this. To get it, all you have to do is copy this from the top of that into there, and then do a forward, a backslash, sorry, and do the file name. So it's announcer.txt. Save that, and that's good to go. All right, let's go back to here. And check whether it's now got our say It's just nice. So this is only happens if it is an op. So we want to make an else statement to tell people pretty much that they can't use this command. That people who aren't mods can't use the command. So we're gonna do else. Um, Message chan. Right. I'm not sure if we need a squealer bracket here. I'm going to put one in just in case. Else message channel chan saying you are not a mod. You cannot use this command. So now obviously we want a way of stopping this as well. So the way we're going to do that is we'll make a, another command called on tags. So same as before. And this one's going to be a stop and answer. And we want it to be only available for ops again. So same as before, exactly the same. And we want it to be a message. I wanted to say announcer is now stopping. And after that we can create, in fact we don't, we can't create a timer yet. Our, our timer is already created so we're just going to do a timer announcer. We need to be the same as what it says up here. But this time we want to be dot timer announcer and then off. That's going to stop the timer completely. Stop anything that's happening with that. So that's basically it guys. Um, so now we can check to make sure this is working. We're going to go out of here, so we'll type in, we want to type exclamation mark start announcer, we'll make sure it's loaded in properly, it has loaded in properly, correct, 
Try that again. I'm spelling everything correctly, aren't I? Hmm. I'll be back in one moment again. Okay. So guys, I do apologize for that. I did make a little bit of a mistake. Just one minor mistake, and it was in fact the if Nick is op statement. I forgot to put a hashtag after it to say that if it's an op in this channel, uh, which just stopped the script from working completely. So we can now check it. Go into our chat, go exclamation mark start announcer. We're gonna wait 30 seconds. And we'll see if it plays our text file. Eventually, hopefully. <laughs> How am I going to know when it's been 30 seconds? I should have counted. So eventually, it didn't actually message in the channel. I did pause it and it didn't, it didn't actually message. So there was clearly another problem. And this problem was in fact something which I haven't come across before. Um, I found the error just in here. Obviously, the first if statement for the is op um, we found before. That was fine. Um, but then we had a slash play command, which was only reading this folder here. And this wasn't actually our directory. So I looked at it, and it looks like the folder before had spaces in it, so it wasn't reading it because of it had spaces. It was we only race reading up to here, so make sure your file directory doesn't have spaces in it and rename your folder so it doesn't have spaces and it should work fine. If you have this error that's probably the reasoning. Um, so I changed it the folder so it has no spaces and I also used slash play instead of dot play and it played it just fine as you can see here. Uh, 30 seconds does seem a little bit too fast. I recommend at least a minute, maybe two. I'm gonna put minus two. Uh, the stop announce command worked perfectly as well. As you can see, it's stopped. Um, but one thing I did notice as well is, which I forgot to say, is when you're doing a text file, when you're reading from a text file, it will display each message on a different line if you put it on a different line on the text file. So as you can see here, it's on a different line, each one. So if you do want it to be all in one message, it all has to be on one line, so you can save that, and that would work perfectly now. So if I just put this timer down to say 10 seconds, start to announcer, see in 10 seconds the message displays. There we go, and it's all in one message rather than being on each line. And it'll do it another 10 seconds. And we can stop it. And then wait 10 seconds and, it, and it'll be gone. It, it, won't, it won't message anymore. So that's how you want to do it, guys. Uh, you remember, you don't have to have these announcers now starting, announcers now stopping messages. If you don't want to, um, I just add them in because it just makes it a little bit, a little bit better, I think. Um, obviously, you can also add an on text for playing the actual file. So, if you want just an announcer command, you just do it the same, but obviously, the same as when I showed you how to do commands before with a flood on it as well. So, like this one hit here, so everyone can use the command. But instead of saying message chan here, you do slash play and then file direct slash play. Hashtag on the file directory. That's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.